Milos Forman's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, adapted from the Ken Kesey novel of the same name, centers on Jack Nicholson's McMurphy's experience within a psychiatric hospital, a wild, free spirit, not without its flaws, but through pranks, confrontations, and a rebellious nature delivers a life-affirming motivation to the other patients he befriends, and the conflict he has with Louise Fletcher's Nurse Ratched, a passive-aggressive, cold-natured figure of authority who becomes the target of McMurphy's provocations. One one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is one of the very few films, Frank Capra's It Happened One Night and Jonathan Demme's The Silence of the Lambs being the only other two films to earn such a rare status, to win the big five awards at the Academy Awards. Best Picture, Best Director, Best Original Screenplay, Best Actor and Best Actress. The film has resonated across multiple generations and is often cited as one of the greatest Hollywood films of all time by film critics and film fans alike. Roger Ebert placed it onto his list of great films, while it also also sits highly amongst the public voted IMDb Top 250 Films list. It's incredibly difficult not to find solace and joy in McMurphy's anti-establishment and life-affirming actions, as he encourages the troubled patients he befriends who surround him to escape from their comfort zones they have long established. McMurphy is a character who fills tense moments with solutions via humour from a game in the tub room, which begins to turn sour until McMurphy blasts water over the whole game, or direct no bull shit action with a complete disregard for the consequences, for example when Cheswick, a fellow patient, becomes frustrated with Nurse Ratched in a group therapy session due to the restrictions on cigarettes for personal use, after cigarettes were used for betting in poker games, McMurphy punches a hole through the nurse's office window and takes a packet of cigarettes to Cheswick in an attempt to calm him. McMurphy reflects who we as the viewers wish to be, where others may be fearful he is not, with the restrictions of the hospital Hospital, McMurphy is a free soul wanting to follow his own path and ignoring the limitations in his way. Many of us could easily relate to this sentiment of wanting to become our true selves without the limitations imposed on us. With a devilish playfulness, Jack Nicholson as McMurphy influences the other patients for the better, filling them with confidence. Billy Bibbitt's eventual boost of confidence to talk to women and the gradual easing of his stutter, as well as the Chief's progression to opening up personally to McMurphy, revealing that he was never mutual or deaf to begin with, leading to their friendship growing stronger. Motivating the Chief's eventual escape and grasp for freedom are two of the largest, most significant positive influences that McMurphy has on the patients. Although McMurphy's methods may be questionable, even illegal, from stealing the hospital bus and a boat for an unauthorised fishing trip, to smuggling girls and alcohol onto the ward, it's a powerful illustration to the extent that McMurphy will go to flaunt rules and limitations. He is a caged bird singing as loudly as he can. Louise Fletcher's Nurse Ratched is McMurphy's antagonist, and possibly one of Hollywood's greatest villains. Her demeanour is often cold, carrying barbed passive-aggressive remarks that can wound sharper than any knife, such as when McMurphy refuses to take his medication. Nurse Ratched prompts him that the medication can be arranged to be taken another way, implying that force and pain will be used, or the way which Nurse Ratched often refers to Billy Bibbitt's mother during therapy sessions as an intimidation and bullying tactic, a figure whom Billy is terrified of as Ratched and his mother are old friends, while also being completely unethical due to Ratched's intent to ignore patient confidentiality, a form of bullying which leads to Billy Bibbitt's tragic suicide, a horrifying event which was spurred on by Nurse Ratched's own controlling manipulation. Nurse Ratched is a figure that is easy to strongly dislike. She represents the people who restrict one's freedom, the bullying for Force which reinforced one's sense of self-consciousness, or the restriction of their ability to be themselves. It is easy for Nurse Ratched to reflect the bullies, abusers and personal antagonists from our own daily lives. This universal reflection of our own personal experiences makes Nurse Ratched so incredibly easy to hate, and is likely why she is often seen as a great antagonist. When McMurphy wishes for something as simple and doable as to watch the World Series baseball game on the minute television on the ward, Ratched may 
makes it incredibly difficult for it to be a possibility, encouraging a democratic vote but then deeming it too late to count once her group therapy session has adjourned. It's a frustrating sequence to watch as it feels as if she is making the rules up to provoke McMurphy. It's meant to feel like this. Once again, Nurse Ratched can quite easily reflect the personal events in our lives where we deemed the outcome unfair. Reflecting such universal disdainful experiences in a single character makes Nurse Ratched a brilliant antagonist, likely able to rile up the most passive of film viewers. A great protagonist like McMurphy, with clear motivations, intentions and a distinctive personality, conflicting with a great antagonist like Nurse Ratched, with her cold demeanour and ability to intimidate, makes for a fascinating viewing when the sparks truly fly. Each conversation between the two feels more thrilling than any gunfight. It's a true standoff. For every oppressive moment that Nurse Ratched holds the screen, the more we warm towards McMurphy's chaotic response, his personality flooding the film with humour, crude jokes and a joviality that is infectious. The film's most fondly remembered scenes are due to Nicholson's comic timing and the chaotic positivity he emanates. Even though the film is filled with humour, it couldn't be described solely as a comedy. Its most tragic moments are emotional roller coasters. The film's ending is likely to resonate with any viewer decades after their initial viewing of the film, as well as scenes consisting of electroshock therapy, with the camera's capturing of every painful wince and convulsion. Never shying away from true pain, no matter how minuscule or large scale, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest captures a true sense of devastation which aids in holding a character like McMurphy so close to our hearts. For each struggle he has experienced, it's powerful sentiment to see him bounce back. When McMurphy bounces back no more, it's beautiful to see his legacy, his memory carried on through the chief, his closest friend on the ward, but also through his closest observers, us. In conclusion, Milos Forman's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest deserves its well-renowned status, with a magnetic lead character in McMurphy, a widely hated antagonist in Nurse Ratched, the film reflects our own personal highs and lows, while drawing us ever closer to McMurphy, the film's own caged bird who sings, mirroring the feelings of personal restrictions and the need to break free. For every single viewer who remembers McMurphy fondly, he has overcome any control that Nurse Ratched could possibly have.